We all start somewhere as beginners. When it comes to backpacking your first trip, it might not be very well executed, and you might make a few mistakes along the way. Well, in this video, to help you avoid any unwanted trouble, we are going to go over the top 10 biggest mistakes beginner backpackers make and show you how to solve them. Make sure to stay up to number one, as we will give you a valuable bonus. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10, packing everything. Now this is a common mistake many beginners make, and that's literally packing their entire house in their backpack when backpacking for the first time. While researching for this video, we found that a total of 62% of people tend to overpack in the US alone. Many people tend to take unnecessary things like an outfit for every day, extra batteries, a bunch of lights, and just overall miscellaneous items. Now granted, you may need a few extra things depending on where you are going, let's say the wilderness for example, but just try and remember not to take any unnecessary items. Part of the problem is because you might be packing while you are in a hurry, instead of packing when you are in a more relaxed state. What you should do is plan out your outfits, by this meaning count how many days you will be on vacation, and break that day up into certain events or activities you will be doing, going to the beach, hiking, going to dinner, etc. Another helpful tip is wearing your bulkiest items on the plane or any vehicle you will be using. This frees up space and allows you to bring more things at the same time. Number nine, eating too much food. If you are the type of person to think, oh, after hiking all day, I'll be starving and I better pack a lot of food, well then, I am telling you right now, please, don't, dude. To be in that setting where you feel you would literally down everything McDonald's has in stock, that takes a while and won't happen in a short period of time. Although it is different for everyone, it certainly does not happen the first week of backpacking, especially if you are only doing a week-long or weekend trips. You may not at all experience hiker hunger. The best advice for this is experiment for yourself as once again, everyone is different when it comes to hunger. But just keep in mind, you won't actually need as much as you think. Number eight, not considering the weather. Knowing the weather in whatever part you are planning to explore is a very powerful tool you can use to your advantage. By just spending a couple of minutes doing research, it can save you from unexpected heavy rainfall, which can lead to dangerous situations, or in some cases, snow. Some mountains may even require early morning summits for intense rainfall in the afternoon. Afternoon. You would be surprised how many times they say the day will be sunny, and when going into the mountains, it is a different story. So please do yourself a favor and check your weather forecasts, as you may be in for a surprise. Number seven, footwear. While backpacking and hiking, you will be asking your feet for a lot of cooperation, so it is only fair that they get the appropriate footwear they deserve. By appropriate footwear, meaning wearing shoes that fit properly, shoes that work with your feet, and you don't find uncomfortable. Now you might be asking, how do you find shoes that quote unquote work well with my feet? Well, you find them by trying out different shoes of all kinds before going on your backpacking journey. It is important to have shoes that are big enough because believe me when I say your feet will swell. And when walking downhill, you definitely don't want your shoe so tight that your toes are hitting the front of your shoes. So make sure to have the right shoes or boots for your adventure. Number six, start small. By this meaning picking an easy route. You shouldn't be ashamed of picking short trails. In fact, embrace it. Going off just a few miles and then coming home can also be a very good experience helps you feel more comfortable with the overall feeling of backpacking. Another bonus of taking a shorter route is you can scope out the area so you know exactly what to expect and not be stressed about what things you should pack. So don't feel pressured to pick a super long route that can take you days, especially if you are just starting out. The best strategy is to just simply start off small and work your way up if you desire to go for longer routes. Number five unnecessary gear equipment. Repeat after me. 
I will not buy any unnecessary equipment. This is a very important mistake a lot of people make. And a lot of times, the same people who buy the Osprey Atmos AG65 are the same people who regret their decision and wish they could have gone for something simpler. Another thing to note on is how to use your gear. Whatever you are buying, make sure you will actually get something out of it and how it works properly. It's like water. It isn't worth anything really if you don't know how to take the cap off. Also, when buying your equipment, you should know how to take care of it as well. The last thing you want is wasting a bunch of money just so your equipment gets damaged. Number four, not telling someone. No, I don't mean like brag about it on social media and tell everyone. No, I mean telling one or two usually one person you trust where you are going to be and when they should hear from you coming back. Say things like, I am going to this location for two days. I should be back Friday around seven. Things like that and being as specific as possible helps whoever you are telling to be more aware of your location and if anything goes wrong, they should be able to locate you quickly. This is a good habit to get into and if you're not implementing it already, you should definitely give it a shot. Number three, be aware of your surroundings. When picking a spot to put all of your stuff down, it is crucial to make sure you are aware of where you are and the things around you. Avoid certain areas with trees that seem to have weak branches, as all it takes is just a simple gust of wind and it can hit your tent. You should avoid places where there is not a lot of flat ground. I think this one is self-explanatory, but it cannot be stressed enough. Do not set up camp on uneven ground areas. If you do that, you are just waiting for an accident to happen. Number two, med kit. You should always have a med kit with you at all times as you never know what you might encounter. Knowing how to use everything the med kit offers is a great boost to your overall survival. Keeping it organized is a must as when you need a bandage or something, you do not want to be rummaging through everything. You should keep it neat and organized so you pull out whatever you need whenever you need it. Now finally, the long awaited number one. Enjoy. Yep. That's it. Enjoy. Many people tend to get overwhelmed by all the planning, packing, and all the many things they have to do to get to their destination. That is all fine, but don't forget why you came here in the first place and enjoy yourself. One of the best things about backpacking is the ability to have freedom and do whatever you desire at whatever time. You would be surprised how many people have information about their plane ride home and are worried about being there on time, all at the same time, not enjoying the trail they worked so hard to get to. The only way to fully experience backpacking is to fully let yourself release any concerns and worries and simply take in whatever that destination has to offer. Hope this helps. This has been Traveling Cloud, and see you next time.